Echoes of Hoosier High School hoops can still be heard inside a Gibson County gymnasium. Thanks to volunteers, alumni, and local business owners, the Ford Branch High School gym has survived roof damage, renovations, high heating bills, and decades of uncertainty. Volunteer Bill Knapp explains the relationship the Ford Branch community shares with a group of former students tasked with saving their old gym. The Fort Branch alumni is an organization farmed for this gymnasium who have uh, put all the nostalgia in here, put up all the class jackets on the walls and in the hallway here, and uh, helped with all the, all the memorabilia. The last class to toss their tassels as students of Fort Branch High School graduated in the spring of 1975, going from twigs to titans over the summer, eventually merging into Gibson Southern High School. Beyond basketball, the gym still finds creative ways to raise funds for its upkeep. We charge $20 an hour to rent this gym, and uh, there's a two-hour minimum. We don't want to put the price high because we want people to be able to use it. That's the only way we uh, can keep the doors open and pay our heating bill, is to rent it out to people to play basketball or pickleball or volleyball. And uh, quite a few people rent it for birthday parties for young kids. Money was an issue in years past, as the gym's wooden roof was in need of repairs. It took one of the area's biggest employers to step in. Uh, that was a big uh, problem, and uh, Toyota did a big uh, contribution, and, and it ran about $100,000. So we didn't know if we could make it or not. We didn't know if it'd have to shut the gym down or not. This building was not built to to heat. It, uh, back then they had coal and, and that was plentiful and cheap so they didn't insulate anything and this building does cost a lot to heat in the winter time. Up to two thousand dollars a month in a real cold month. Although small in size, about 300 seats total, the Ford Branch Gym actually houses another not-for-profit organization all within the walls of what is officially known as the South Gibson Community and Teen Center. The fifth quarter is uh, just for the high school kids after football games and basketball games, and uh, it's just really a nice place for kids to come and not get in trouble after the ball games. What once served as locker rooms and showers now provides a safe hangout for students and the next generation wanting to preserve this tri-state treasure. Tommy Mason, 44 News.